After you've brought in your clip, you'll need to navigate to the Highlight and Conceal tool. There are a couple ways to do this. The first way is by selecting the More Tools icon. This icon is located on the bottom of the tool column with the four little squares. After you have selected More Tools, click on Video Editing, and then select the Highlight and Conceal option, which is found on both the drop-down list and over to the right in the tool gallery. There is another way to easily access the Highlight and Conceal tool. Simply click on your video clip or photo, select the Tools option, and then Highlight and Conceal. Okay, so now you're ready to conceal. There are three steps to go over, and they are masks, mask properties, and motion. The first step is choosing your mask. For concealing an object, you will want to choose from the top six options in the mask gallery. These six mask options allow you to select a rectangular or circular format to blackout, blur, or pixelate a particular area of your video clip or photo. Oh, and if you're having a hard time deciding, don't worry. You can always change this later, and it's easy. Once you've picked an option, you'll see the change reflected in your preview window. You can now move the mask around by clicking and dragging, and you can resize by either using the adjustments provided on the mask or by simply rolling the wheel on your computer mouse. Okay, let's move on to the second step, mask properties. With the properties tool, you can easily adjust opacity, feathering, and you can even outline. You can adjust these settings by either grabbing the slider bar or by manually keying in your desired level. Real quick, lowering the opacity will make the mask become more transparent, feathering will soften the edges around your mask, and outlining is pretty handy if you'd like to draw attention to whatever it is you are concealing. Now, if this is all you need to do to your photo or video, then after adjusting the mask properties, you're done. Be sure to click apply. If you would like to add tracking to your clip, then now it's time to move on to the third step, motion. Hey, so sorry guys, but real quick, I need your help with something. It's totally free and it will only take a second. All you have to do is just hit that like button. It would seriously mean so much and it would be really helpful for my channel. Okay, let's get back to it. Finally, motion tracking. In this step, you can choose which tracking mode to use, quick or precise. I'm going to try and explain this really simply. Deciding between these two options really boils down to time. Precise tracking takes more time to process, especially the longer and more complex your clip is. With the quick option, you may notice the tracking quality diminish, but this can still be a really great option to save you time, again, especially if you have a really long and complex video clip. Once you have selected your tracking mode, click track and allow a few moments for the tracking feature to process. You're done. Now you can watch back your clip and see how it looks. Oh, and before you take off, I want to quickly go over a couple of common situations that you may run into. What if you need to add another mask? This is easy. Just go back into the highlight and conceal tool, click on the big plus icon up top, and then run through the same steps as before. Deleting a mask works basically the same way, but instead of clicking the plus icon, first select the mask you want to delete and then click on the trash can icon. Another common situation you may come across is when the object that you're tracking moves off the screen. When this happens, you will notice that the tracking feature gets confused and starts jumping around the screen. To avoid this, I recommend that you split your video clip at any point your subject enters or exits the screen. Oh, and you also need to double click on each clip you have split, then come up here to this top left menu under Clip Properties and select Applied Effects. Here you can click on this little X, which will delete the hide and conceal you have applied on this clip. Once you have all of your splits in place, then proceed to add masks to any clip that you can visibly see your subject moving around. Last thing I want to mention is that if you ever want to undo an action, you can either click on the little back arrow located on the top left of your timeline or simply press Ctrl Z. Hey, if I missed something that you have a question on, please feel free to ask me in the comments. But otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.